Hi, my friend, it's Will here over at Pips and Gains, and welcome back to another trading setup and analyst video. Today, we're going to be looking at a possible trading scenario on the Kiwi, uh, Japan, Kiwi dollar, Japanese yen. So, it has been a few weeks since my last uh, video. I have been in getting knee surgery, so have been so I've been recovering over the past few weeks and haven't been able to do uh, too much trading and uh, content wise. So I'm back today, and we're going to look at the setup that I posted yesterday on my trading view channel. So before we actually get into the good stuff, the reason why you're watching this video, if you are new to the channel or you haven't yet for some reason subscribed it, simply hit the subscribe button now. Show your support so I can keep on creating content like this, showing me near 15 years experience in the FX markets. So let's get into the trading setup. We'll head over to trading view where we're at now. If you haven't yet followed me there, we're starting to build a nice wee following. We are up just over 1500 now in a matter of a, well, just a few months and slowly growing. So this is the setup I posted. This is actually a setup that I posted, uh, I think it was the last setup. When was this? Uh, this is a set that I posted on the USDJPY a few weeks ago. I think it was that, oh, sorry, October 9th. So one of the last posts that I did in trading view before I went in for my operation. And it was on the USDJPY. And this pair is moving uh, as planned, heading down to our first target at 145. So Great trade there, as expected. We got the rally up above uh, 150 towards 152, and then the sell off. So, if you want to understand the reasons behind that setup and how you can benefit your trading, you can head over to Trading View and have a quick uh, look at that post. So, this is the setup on the Kiwi Japanese yen. Uh, we are at three triple confluence, and we'll go over the chart uh, in a minute. You can, if you want to get the written breakdown, you can head over to Trading View and get the written breakdown. So it was actually yesterday where I stated that I had entered the trade just above uh, <clears throat> 91. And it has started to move in our favor already. So let's just remove the drawings. If you are new to the channel, I uh, want to know how I actually look at the charts. I take a top-down approach. We look at the higher time frames monthly and weekly. Look for areas where prices either sold off from before heavily or been bought heavily before. As the higher time frame charts kind of show you the big moves is where the big players are going to be moving the markets and is where the big moves happen. So we look at the monthly and the weekly and then we zoom into the lower time frames, daily, four hour, etc., and look for evidence that price action is slowing down where we can enter the market. So first thing I want to draw here is the trend line. And we just we're just connected in these tops. This monthly swing high, and then this monthly swing high here. And you can see we have broke above it. And like I said, it is only one area of confluence. In this chart, we'll zoom in the monthly a little bit more. We are also at a monthly supply sale zone. It's basically just an area where prices slowed off heavily before. It's what I classify as a sale zone. Or if we call it supply, but you can see the huge sell off we had here in 2015 the move did kind of start up in december up here we got the initial drop then we got a, a small rally if we were looking at that in hindsight back then the market would have still been in an uptrend uh, moving back up there it wasn't until we created this level here and the market broke down taking out these lows that the uh, downtrend was confirmed and then we got a huge drawdown or sorry a huge move down there actually from the this top to this bottom you're talking nearly 44,000 pips, which is uh, some some drop. But the initial uh, four-month drop here was nearly 2,000 pips. So we've now entered that zone. It's lining up nicely with this uh, <clears throat> trend line. We also have right at the top of this, sorry, we have, dun, dun, dun. The 2015 swing high, which will act as some sort of resistance. It's at 92,500. Just below that here, we have the 2007 swing 
sorry, no, one of the two, the October 2007 swing high. That's actually, it hasn't been taken out yet, but it's heading up towards 92. So this area is key. Next, we want to look into the lower time frames. We'll have a look at the weekly. And what, what we're actually getting here, you can see quite clearly, is every time the market pops in here, we get the sideways movement. We are getting the sideways movement accumulation price action here. This normally happens at the top of a move. The market has broke out above that level. But you can see as it's breaking out above it, every time it pops a new high here, it sells off, pops a new high here, it sells off, and then pops a new high here. So the like, more likelihood here we're going to get a sell off, at least a short time down towards uh, this 87 area, just going off that kind of price action. Hence the reason why I entered my first position. Now, what we want to do now, we can actually see the price action is starting, the momentum is starting to slow down. Basically, you can see, tell by the, every time it pops a new high, the market sells off pretty quickly. And then gathers up again, pops a new high, and then sells off again. So I kind of think this might be the last rally up. We might get an impulse move up towards this resistance, but we are nearing the end of this uh, up move here. If we look at the daily picture here, you can see the sideways movement here a lot more. And like I said in my post, what we're actually starting to see here, we're seeing the sideways movement. We're also seeing, uh, if we look at the MACD, we are also starting to get divergence signals. Okay? A diver Mac MACD divergence signal is just basically telling you the momentum is slowing down. Uh, we're getting prices popping new highs, but the indicator is moving lower. So you pop the new high here and it hasn't moved higher. I think you're actually seeing this in a weekly chart too. Yep, so we are getting the divergence on the weekly charts. See the market's moving higher, and this is it's looking like it's moving higher, but it's moving down. If that made sense. So. Daily charts is kind of telling us that we are in a period of distribution at the top of a move. And again, I'm liking this for a, a sail back down in, into this range here. Just move that. Band there is. I just like the signals for my TRFX indicator. And like that. So we'll just hide that for now. Let's see this huge sideways movement price action here. Pop the new high. And then let's pop the new high here. So the question is, where to next? For me, likelihood we're going to get a, could get an impulse move up, but in a sell off down towards, in down towards this longer term range here. The one I just marked out here. So the first target for this position will be around 87. We're likely to see a bounce at that level. For the market bouncing here, we get a slight move up towards the trend line and then a move down to the bottom of that range, which could go all the way down to 81. So this position could be a 300 to 1,000 pip move. 
like I said on my post that I've actually entered a position on this already. And if it does start to move higher, I will uh, look for signals on my TRFX indicator. So look at this. So I will look for signals. If it does move higher, up towards 92, I'll wait for another signal on the TRFX indicator to enter the market again. So just to recap, zoom out to the monthly. Three, three areas are lining up. We're, we've got this trend line here. You can see each time. Well, the second time, it's only a this is only the third time it's hit it, but the first couple of times from these kind of levels, the market has sold off heavily. <clears throat> we're in a sale zone that sold off heavily in 2015. And we're heading towards this resistance here. So three areas, three key areas are all lining up for a possible sale. The weekly, we can see evidence that momentum is starting to slow down. We've got the MACD divergence signals on the daily and the weekly charts. You can see every time that price uh, pops a new high, it sells off pretty quickly. We've popped this new high, likely to sell off pretty quickly again. First target for this position is top of this previous range here at 87. Now, if it does head towards here, we've already had two, two reactions at this level. I suspect the last reaction will be a weak one and then we'll get a move back down in towards the range for the second target, which will be the bottom of the range, down at 81. So that is the setup. Again, I've entered, already entered a position just slightly above 91. If it does continue to move higher, I will look for signals with my TRFX indicator, and I will share with you how to get that absolutely free in, a, in just a second here. So that is the setup. Again, this is just what I'm doing. As always, trade at your own risk. It's a very, very good setup with huge potential uh, to play out over the coming months. And yeah, that is it. If you want to get the written version, head over to TradingView and read the post. Don't forget to like and comment and show your support. If you have any questions regarding the setup or trading in general, let me know in the comment section. And that is it. If you would like to get access to the TRFX indicator. Absolutely free. There will be a link in the description area. Just head over to that uh, website, enter your email, TradingView ID, and make sure you're following, following me on uh, TradingView. And within 24 hours, it will be in your in, in fight only scripts. It'll be in here. So that's where it'll be. So. That is it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I shall see you on the next video where I'll be updating you on the progress of my prop firm accounts, which is kind of kind of the same as it was a few weeks ago as I haven't been trading, but a lot of people have been asking for updates. So I'll see you on the next video. Well over at Pips and Gains.